Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle, and today I have an RU match against one of the top guys on the RU ladder, whose name is I'm Bored, which is uh, pretty funny that he has that name when he's really high on the ladder. But anyway, the team I'm using is my Cacturn RU team, which I uh, used in the Showdown Live if you want to see more of it. But anyway, let's just get into the battle. I'm just going to lead off my Specs Rotom, he leads off with Drodagon. Drodagon is a huge threat in RU, so I just decide to give that thing my Specs first turn as he sets up Stealth Rocks, and here I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I kind of was at risk of getting Sucker Punch there, but uh, oh wait no, my trick went first, so he was locking the Stealth Rocks, but he goes into his Spinner, I go into my Slow King, he really does not have much to take Psy Shocks except for the Drodagon and possibly the Entei, but I mean, who would switch an Entei into a Slow King, but now I kind of derp up and switch into my Seismitoad. I should have just stayed in and Psy Shocked there because since uh, he's not banded, I'm pretty sure he couldn't have killed me. But I think at the time I was kind of thinking he was banded because I didn't see an item, but I obviously had tricked him my specs first turn, so that's kind of stupid. But it's not the worst because it means I get Stealth Rocks up right now, and he does have a couple things weak to them. And I have a spin blocker to prevent him from spinning, as you see there, so... Yeah, I don't know. I still think I should have just killed the drug gun, though. Anyway, his Cradula doesn't have an item, and that Ice Beam does so much to Rotom. And I know he's not choiced, so I'm not quite sure what his item is. I'm pretty sure he's offensive, but... Yeah, anyway, he brings in Quillfish as I bring in Envor. I do predict that, but since Quillfish is the monster it is, that is not going to do overly too much but I just decide to stay in and attack him and I do get the crit which is pretty unfortunate it just depends on if he was going for like a t-wave or spikes or waterfall uh, either one of those would have been bad but yeah basically if he had gone for spikes I would have still had my end bore regardless though so brings an Entei, sack my seismitoad, bring in Slowking because he has nothing to take a Psy Shock and yeah, he just decides to let his Drodagon die, which was a good play because it was Specs, and it, yeah, wouldn't have lived. Brings in his Cryogenal here. This is another point where I probably should have just stayed in and Psy Shocked, because having Rocks gone is not the worst thing, because the only thing that's weak to them is his Entei, and I have a Slow King and a Drodagon, which could both, like, kill it at the range it's at, so I probably should have just stayed in there in Psy Shock, but you know, it's still not the worst thing. I do, I do lose my Death Fodder though, and my Death Fodder would have been very good because uh, I have the advantage, I would have had the advantage in Pokemon, so decided to just sack my Cacturn there because it's not going to do much when he has an Entei, and I bring my Drodagon, take that extreme speed, and just proceed to take him out with a Bandit Outrage, and I probably should have i could have gotten into slow king there also and i'm quite sure if it would have changed the outcome of the battle but he just decides to weaken me with rotom because i guess his zangoose does not have protect and he wasn't confident in an unboosted facade killing me which i guess it probably wouldn't but uh now he brings in the zangoose the facade is definitely going to kill me here because you know zangoose is just too powerful and now that it has its toxic boost up it is very powerful so it's all down to whether I can live this quick attack, which I do not. So he is just going to be able to get the late game Zangoose mini sweep. Because as we all know, Zangoose is just too powerful. No idea why it's in you, but yes. So yeah, that was a very narrow 1-0 loss in his favor. That was still a great game. Uh, he beat me despite the hacks I got on him. So yeah, anyway though. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, all that stuff, and I will see you next time. Peace.